What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Asian Doll is quite the character. Um, not only just, I don't really even know any songs that she does. I don't listen to her music. But like, you know, she was dealing with Jack Boy and she was crying on social media about that. And then how she tells him all about King Von. And then she was through with Jack Boy and then she wanted to date Antonio Brown. But a lot of people consider her to be a clout chaser after the death of King Von. You know, she's always talking about him all the time. And one of those people who were very critical of her um, was DJ Vlad, according to her. Now, DJ Vlad, according to Asian Doll, was trolling her, you know, making fun of her tattoos and stuff like that. Now, to, to be honest, I wasn't abreast of those things at the time, but this is what she says, okay? So there was an interview that was issued out and Asian Doll's manager told her to do it. So she came to LA, she flew to LA, and it was... What are DJ Vlad's assistants that was handling the interview? Um, and it, it seems to be a young lady that Asian Doll really likes. But I want to play the interview that was taken off of, and it seems like somebody had a cell phone recording Asian Doll. I want you to kind of just listen to what she says, and um, we'll talk about it afterwards. Asian Doll coming back to Vlad TV. I don't give a that shit. <laughs> How you feeling? Good. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. I just feel like a lot of people was just playing with me when Vaughn died. A lot of people thought that was funny. A lot of people thought that was a joke. A lot of people thought that cloud chasing. A lot of people was just trying to tarnish my name. A lot of people was just, just adding on to, you know, me grieving like that, you feel me? So I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. I really don't with Vlad. I don't like you. I don't with you. you thought funny with my right? you mocked me with my tattoo you made fun of my streams you really like tried to play with me just for me to come back and be better you feel me none of that shit can go platinum and i love you Shirley. I love you. I love you too but i don't with that i don't i don't care right. to be here he really can suck my that's that <laughs> all right you heard what she had to say she pretty much said like you know at, you know suck my d lad you know you thought it was funny you know, here's the playback. And, you know, she she thinks that, D, that, that DJ Vlad looks like a goofy person. The reality is Vlad has disrespected artists, okay, because they allow him to. He's disrespected black rappers before they allow him to. And for you to go to LA, obviously you might have something else to do. So maybe she wasn't in LA just for that. But to show up to the interview and tell Vlad to suck your D and walk off. The reality is, do you think that DJ Vlad is hurting because of what you just did? You you think that you're making him look bad? Like the, the, the next day, DJ Vlad is gonna have somebody bigger, more important than you and still make a lot of money off the industry. You're not hurting him, you make yourself look like a fool because the reality is this if you thought that dj vlad was disrespecting you why would you waste your time to go down there catch a flight i don't care what your manager said okay because you make your manager look stupid all right so you you look dumb i know your manager already knew so you wanted to go out there and do that fine but Again, it's how you handle things. And uh, you know, I understand the whole Asian doll thing had a situation with Fresh and Fit. You know how Fresh and Fit has a bad stigma for dealing with people? Asian doll is going to have that same stigma too. Okay, you went to Asian, you went to the Fresh and Fit podcast. You got kicked off. I didn't think that was your fault. But you wanted to go to DJ Vlad just to tell him F you and suck your D. As, as a black woman, how does that make you look? I know that people don't care, but really you gotta think about this. How does that make you look? Do you even care about how does it make you look as a lady? 
it makes you look so childish and look at who you're representing you're representing women who look like you you're representing people in your community they look at you like this person's childish this is something an uneducated you know what would do and then you think like it's just so easy to say i'm not even gonna do it and i'm gonna say this for those people who don't like vlad all right and there's a lot of people who don't like him those of you who live in atlanta dj vlad has a, a, a um, um 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 station in atlanta go to academics podcast how about the industry for those people who have such a problem with dj vlad how about y'all start boycotting all you gotta do is go to the other rappers go to the other shows we can make our podcast bigger go to go to a, go to a black one go to academics go to go to the uh, uh, african-american one can create it you create your own so that way if you feel like somebody can give more respect to artists from the black community then do it that's how you basically hurt people you hurt people by boycotting them you hurt people by cutting them off you don't hurt people by giving them more clout to go out there and do that and then you look stupid in the process you know like if there's somebody that i that, that, that i dislike okay i dislike them i know i don't like them i'm not wasting my time coming out to your studio i'm not even gonna show up to tell you f you it ain't worth my time all right it ain't worth my time i'm just not gonna deal with you you know it's like with black people Sometimes we can be victims of this or are, are, are guilty of this. Giving energy to people who have disrespected us. If people don't like you, if they've already treated you like they don't respect you, what's the point of you going and telling them on their property to suck your D? Now you're a woman talking like this too, all right? So then, you know, when you get that, you know, women ain't protected, like that's something a man would do. Not even a man would do that, but it sounds like that's something like a, a, a street dude would do. Then I want to tell you ladies one thing too. Y'all not going to like this. Then you want women like this to be protected. Okay. And the fact that your manager knew that you was going to go there and do this tells me what kind of manager you have. Nobody should ever hire you. All right. Now, if you would have went to the interview <clears throat> and you would actually address that and finish the interview i mean you know who who knows right because a, other podcasts might even look at it now like look how disrespectful she is and you know what they would be right okay and again we got to understand when to be professional when not to all right this is a business hip-hop is a business this is not a play thing we're not talking to people on the goddamn street or anything like that we got to be professional and asian doll is a bad look because you didn't make you didn't you, you made yourself look stupid and not him he could care less but guys what do you think it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk i already appreciate you for all that you do subscribe with the bell check out the first company at the top and as you know the buffoonery remains at all-time high i'm out